Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a clean cinematic title animation using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and load up Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've just got an empty project here. I'm just going to right click in the media pool here and we'll go to new sequence here. So inside the sequences, I want to do a NTSC widescreen. So I'm going to select that. So we're running at 29 frames a second, which will be 1920 by 1080 resolution let's click OK so we just got a blank project set up here okay so to make sure you've got the same layout as I do go to the windows here go to workspace and click all panels and the layout should be similar to what you see here let's go ahead and click on the text tool here this text tool and then we'll go ahead and click on the player the video player head here and inside here we're going to type in we can type in anything you like I'm going to type everything in capital letters and I'm going to type in I'm just going to type in the word cinematic intro so you can see the text is too large so we're going to resize it now but let's go ahead and click on the selection tool first so that we make sure we don't type any other text in okay so we want to resize this text a couple of ways to do this in um, adobe premiere but for now let's just drag it towards the center of the screen we'll position it accurately in a moment but let's just set out the size first so there's two ways to do this you can either go to essential graphics on this side here essential graphics you can start to change and manipulate the size here you can see you can change the size here so we can set it to something like 89 but at the same time you're changing the elements here you can also change them in the effects controls so these are almost like one of the same well not exactly the same but they they share a lot of the same logic yeah some of the functionality so if we just drag this more towards the center we'll position it accurately in a moment but what we want to do is maybe change the font style so we can click on a drop down here or you can click on it over here and you can go and scroll through all your different fonts and you can pick out a font that you like something like note on mono something like this maybe we'll use um, this sort of font here so what we want to do is really um, here on the tracking we just want to make the font spacing a bit wider so the fonts is you know there's more gap in between each letter but we want to reduce the size as well at the same time so something around here should be pretty good right something like this size so this will be roughly the size of our text you can put any video into the background maybe we'll look at doing that as well so for now we just want to center this text on the screen and the best way to do that is from the essential graphics on this side you just click here to center and click here to center now what i normally do is also center the anchor point the anchor point is right down here at the moment this little blue circle so if you just left click on it grab it hold down the control key and it will snap to the center of this uh, cinematic text object now if you wanted to rotate this object at any point in the future it will rotate from that middle point so think of it like the pivot point okay so our text has a bit of duration towards it but you can see this is 16 seconds this is 32 seconds here and 48 and this is way too long in terms of duration so let's hold down the uh, let's left click in here at the bottom where the timeline is and we'll hold down the alt key and we'll zoom into this timeline and you can see it's set to around well it's set to exactly five seconds at present right five seconds uh, let's see yeah it should be around five seconds so let's set it to five seconds grab this uh, text and just drag it and make sure it snaps to exactly five seconds here it might be a lot of frame off or whatever but it doesn't really matter five seconds should be good uh, for this text animation that we're going to create so here you can see the the duration right so setting the duration is quite important uh, and I think that cinematic intro, the first part will be like five seconds. And if you want to add other titles afterwards, maybe those ones can be a bit shorter as well. But have to be the same. You can use the left and right arrow key to move the uh, timeline on smaller increments. Um, so, yeah, you can just go and adjust it and just make sure it's set to five seconds. Okay, so a lot like um, Adobe After Effects or blender 3d or any sort of application we can add keyframes to this text right to, to control its animation so let's go all the way back to the first keyframe you can see all it should be zeroed out here and we'll go to the effects controls so you can use your mouse wheel to rotate through all the different settings at the top here use your mouse wheel and when you get to effects controls and click on the text and we can see all the attributes for the text for now we're going to minimize this one here this cinematic text we're going to minimize it because we want to work with some of these other attributes in here so the first thing we want to do is work with the opacity because we don't want this to be shown straight away so what we'll do is uh, we've got five seconds to work with right 
so I think on the first second so we'll scrub across to one second duration we're going to insert a keyframe in fact th there's another way to do this let's do it the right way let's go to the very first keyframe so the zero keyframe here and here we're going to click on the stopwatch so we'll click on the stopwatch uh, and that's going to add a keyframe right one keyframe here it's just you might just be able to see it and we're going to move across to one second so you can use your arrow keys to to move more accurately you'll get to one second and we're going to click on this little add keyframe here and then we're going to go all the way to the very last keyframe which will be on five seconds and we'll add a keyframe here and then we're going to go to four seconds right scrub back into four seconds uh, which is here and we'll add another keyframe so we've got four keyframes here that will allow us to control the um the opacity so let's go back to the very first keyframe onto the zero seconds here and the opacity we're going to set it all the way down to zero so now as we scrub across we can see the text fade in and we're going to go to the very last keyframe what you can do is actually click on these little arrows here to move between the keyframes right so we'll go to the very last one and we're going to set that to zero so now basically we've got our text fading in and it will stay static and then it will fade out at the end so this is a nice little simple animation right using uh, adobe premiere but we want to improve um the um you know this this animation so another nice effect to add is like um some sort of blur so let's minimize this essential graphics and let's go into effects and we'll go into video effects and underneath the blur we have the blur and sharpen and we have gaussian blur direction blur loads of different ones in here but for now we're just going to grab the gaussian blur and drag and drop it onto the text so here you'll see another element pop up uh, the Gaussian blur just above the um, the opacity, right? So you can see Gaussian blur written here, and we want to add keyframes for that one as well. So let's go ahead and click on the stopwatch for blurriness. So we we'll click here, and we see one keyframe right here. Now the nice thing to do to move to the other keyframe positions, you can just click this arrow here, this one that because you already set the opacity keyframes. So when you click there, it's going to move exactly to that one second position you can just click here to add a keyframe click down here add a keyframe click down here and then add one more keyframe so you can set your keyframes very, very quickly that way so let's go back to the very first keyframe and we're going to set our blur blurriness to around 80. let's set it to around 80 and click play so now you'll see the text will blur in like this and we're going to go all the way to the very last keyframe just click here on this little arrow and we'll set that to 80 as well so let's go back to our very first keyframe and click play now we can see it's going to fade in like this it's going to stay static for a little while and then it's going to fade out so we're doing some basic work here it's looking good but we can improve this some more so let's add some more effects to it okay so the next thing we want to change is the scale of this text because at the moment as we scrub through our timeline it's always consistently the same size it doesn't look like there's much movement in here let's go to the very first keyframe you can see scale here and what we do is add a stopwatch which is the first keyframe so we're going to turn it on and we're going to add one keyframe here let's use this arrow to get right down to the very last keyframe and we'll add another keyframe so we've got one at the start and one at the end here let's go back to the first keyframe this one right here and we're going to set the value to around 60. So it's going to start off at 60 and then grow to 100 percent of its original size so when we click play now it's going to have this sort of zoom effect right like this so that's looking pretty good and then we can do a few other things so let's see what else we can do okay so last thing we want to do is add a bit of rotation to this text let's click on it and let's go to the rotation element here and we'll add a keyframe so we've got a keyframe on the first frame we'll use this arrow here to move to that one second frame and we'll add a keyframe here and then we'll go back to the first frame i'm going to give it five degrees just five degrees um rotation so we'll have a slight rotation on the way in I'm not going to rotate on the way. I think it should just fade out like this. So we should just ease some of our content so we can just improve the, um, the smoothness of this animation, let's say. So we want to change the scale. So let's left click here or click on the word scale. When you click on the word scale, we should really go back to, yeah, this is fine. Uh, we can then right click on these keyframes. See the highlighted blue? Doesn't matter which one you click on. We can right click on it and you can set it to an auto bezier or bezier or linear. Linear is default. So you can see they're like triangle shape, meaning that the keyframes um, are just basically flat, right? There's no sort of smoothing of these keyframes. So let's right click on here 
and we'll set it to um, auto bezier here so when we click play now it will start to gradually sort of smooth in and fade in and the text will run a bit smoother so I think this is pretty good it's just a basic example of creating this sort of text intro um, let's add some sort of video behind this it will be nice so let's go ahead and save this first let's save this uh, let's save our work here save and then we'll minimize this on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've downloaded this uh, video clip here a couple of video clips I'll put links to these in the YouTube description uh, so you can download the same video but I think I'm going to use this or sort of planet earth one so let's go ahead and open up uh, uh, Premiere Pro and we drag and drop that into the media pool here so we've got this video clip and let's drag and drop that in fact the first thing we need to do is drag this video or this text above so it sits on v2 here video 2 and we can drag the video clip underneath and then we can click play and we can see this so really we need to resize this video so let's right click on it and we just set it to frame size so we can see it clearly now and we can have this sort of nice little cinematic intro going it's a nice little basic one to work with um, really what I would do here is I would go to uh, video effects and then go to in fact we'll go to transitions dissolve and set a, um, a cross dissolve here at the beginning of this um, planet and then it will fade in nicely like this so that's just a nice quick way to do a little title intro I know it's not sort of super complex but at least you're learning some some key skills so now you can use those key skills those animation sequence skills to go and animate any element in here the position the scale um, the rotation you can do all of these uh, different elements and when you start to drag and drop other video effects in here you'll know how to control them a bit better as well so you can use the controlling here to control those keyframes and sequence out your little title so let's just watch that one last time it's looking pretty good a little tip for you just before we finish you can go here click on the text go to the uh, essential graphics and inside of the text here click it and then you can go down to the font types and you can just go and pick a different font and one thing you might notice let's just pick one font as an example uh, let's just use this sago this one right so you can see the text is no longer centered so to recenter it all you need to do is click here and click here and then make sure you click on the anchor point and hold down the control key to reposition it right and you may have to just change the scale of your fonts um, just to Get that all lined up nicely uh, but that doesn't work too badly as well although the font is the text is a bit smaller it still looks pretty good right okay excellent let's go ahead and save this we'll minimize this and close this window so that's how you go about creating a clean cinematic title animation using adobe premiere pro i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial